Alabama shockingly passed medical cannabis legalization in 2021. This program, while being fairly limited in terms of product selection and approved conditions, is just the beginning of the legal cannabis industry within the Dixie State. As of right now, the exact application process as well as timelines for licensing are not finalized. However, it is anticipated that the application period will begin in September 2022. Today, we're going to discuss the different license types available in Alabama and their functions as well as limitations that we know of right now. The Integrated Facility License is the only license type that allows for the operation of multiple facility types or otherwise known as being a fully vertical license. It will allow license holders to cultivate cannabis, process cannabis oils and products, transport products, as well as dispense through a medical cannabis dispensary. It also allows for the license holder to operate up to five medical cannabis dispensary locations. Due to the limited number of licenses available for the integrated facility license type, this will be the most competitive license to obtain in this state. The medical marijuana dispensary license allows for the license entity to purchase, transfer medical cannabis products from a licensed medical cannabis processor, medical cannabis integrated facility, or medical cannabis cultivator for the dispensing and sale of medical cannabis to a registered patient or registered caregiver. The state is limiting the number of medical marijuana dispensary licenses to four. However, each license allows for the license to operate up to three dispensary facilities. The medical marijuana cultivator license allows for the license entity to cultivate cannabis. Since Alabama's program does not allow raw flour to be sold to patients, licensed cultivators must transfer product to a processor to be processed into an allowable form for consumption. The state is initially licensing a maximum of 12 cultivators. The medical marijuana processor license allows for the license entity to process cannabis into medical cannabis products in the allowable forms outlined by the state's medical cannabis program. It also allows for the processor to purchase or transfer product from a cultivator through the means of a licensed transporter. The state is limiting the number of processor licenses to four. The medical marijuana transporter license allows for the licensed entity to transport medical cannabis and medical cannabis products from a licensed facility to another licensed facility and does not allow for transportation to patients or caregivers. This license type cannot produce, cultivate, and or dispense products. The medical marijuana testing lab License allows for the licensed entity to possess and test medical cannabis and medical cannabis products that are cultivated or processed at a licensed facility. Owners or financial interest holders of this license type cannot hold any ownership in any other license type. To learn more about costs associated with each license type or how to start preparing for the application process, Please book a consultation with our team at Cannabis License Experts.